So guys, the Season 3 trailer for 13 Reasons Why has just dropped. But without further ado, let's just react to it. Deputy Standall. Here's the thing about the kids at Liberty High. They're connected by their secrets. Yeah. Got a lot of them. Connected and forever changed. The truth is, given the right circumstances, the right motivation. Oh, who's been killed? Anyone could have done this. Is it Clay? Who's dead? Who's killed him? No, you can't do that. I need to know what happened to my son. Any of you know anything? So do we. We need to know. Please <laughs> say something. Oh, come on. You just can't do that. So guys, that was my reaction to the trailer for Season 3 of 13 Reasons Why. Just to confirm for you guys, it is coming out on August 23rd on Netflix. This is going to be a highly anticipated thing, but I'm hearing a lot of criticism coming for this franchise. Obviously Season 1 with the death of Hannah Baker being suicide. I can understand, but I want to hear your thoughts on it. Are you actually critical when it comes to this TV series and what it's tried to do? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As well as let me know your predictions for who killed Bryce. I'd love to hear what you think. And I'm guessing a lot of people are going to go towards Tyler or Clay because obviously in season 2 when it left with the gun and stuff they're going to think it's obviously one of them but me I'm going to go with a bit of a random one being Alex. I think Alex is going to be the one that actually killed Bryce because in this trailer it looked a bit more aggressive that was a little bit of a hint for me and I feel like he's one that carries a lot of baggage and normally is involved with a lot of stuff. Now, now I know he's obviously on a stick and stuff and it'll make it hard for him to be the killer but that is the, that is the key making it unbelievable believable to be more of a mystery and obviously more shocking i think alex would be obviously a key pick or it could be a new character which comes into the franchise as well i'm really interested really excited this trade obviously got me pumped questioning and thinking and really excited so let me know your thoughts your predictions and everything down below in that comment section guys and if you do and if you enjoyed this reaction, simply smash that thumbs up button, gets the video around, and also lets me know you enjoy the content I'm giving you. And if you're new, consider subscribing and hitting that bell for much, much more movies and TV series content. We react to trailers just like this one, as well as review movies and TV series, as well as rank them from the worst to the best when it comes to their franchises, top 10s, top 5s. I do a lot of stuff like that, which I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy. I want to build a community here of movies and TV series fans where we can talk in the comment section down below very friendly and get along and just have fun with it. That is the whole thing about this channel. As well as, guys, I've got a Hobbs and Shaw review coming up shortly on the channel. If you're interested in the Fast and Furious franchise, I've been reviewing the franchise series and I'm going to be reviewing Hobbs and Shaw after this video and also ranking them all from the worst to the best on the channel tomorrow so stay tuned on the channel guys i'm sure you ain't gonna want to miss it so without further ado guys i've been me you've been you and i'll see you next time guys on talking with jay spring it